Hey guys, in today's video we'll be talking about pleiotropy. A few videos ago we discussed heterogeneity. So let's quickly recap that, because essentially, pleiotropy is going to be the inverse of heterogeneity. So in heterogeneity, you have multiple different causes. Now whether that's different genes or mutations, which have the same effect in terms of phenotypic disease. So multiple causes, one effect, heterogeneity. Now pleiotropy. It's going to be the exact inverse. One cause, which can be a single gene for example, that is going to have different multiple effects on the body. Now these multiple effects can be vast and very different. They can range from things like one single gene causing cardiomyopathy, re renal stenosis, and lung disease. All very different effects. And that's what pleiotropy essentially is. Now let's talk about real life examples where we see pleiotropy. One common example of pleiotropy is seen in cystic fibrosis disease. In cystic fibrosis, whereby the transmembrane regulator, which is a chloride channel, is mutated, the ability to balance chloride ions is severely impaired. This causes different effects in different organs. So, in the lungs, it impairs mucociliary clearance. And this means that the lungs cannot remove inhaled particles, whether that be debris or pathogens. Now, these patients are more likely to have difficulty breathing, but also more likely to get respiratory infections commonly. Now, on the other hand, this same mutation causes effects on the pancreas. In the pancreas, this impaired chloride secretion causes the ducts to be blocked off. As a result, this will cause inflammation of the pancreas and present as pancreatitis. And that's pleiotropy. 